it's maddie welcome back to my channel today is sunday i thought we would do a little sunday vlog today i am going grocery shopping later today and also just doing some other things to prep for the next week so i thought i would take you guys along and we're going to start off this vlog with a little haul i have a bunch of new stuff from misguided that i just got you guys know i absolutely love working with misguided they have so many cute and trendy pieces on their website i have lots of fall pieces to show you lots of sweaters pants shoes so many cute things so thank you so much to misguided for sponsoring today's video and i'm be linking everything that i try on for you guys down below if you want to check it out for yourselves and you can also use my discount code to save a little extra money on your order so definitely be sure to check out misguided and let's get right into the haul so like i said i got lots of sweaters and just fall appropriate pieces the weather switched up so fast here in new jersey it's like 50 degrees outside right now it got so cold so this first piece i have is this white sweater pretty simple and just a nice basic to have it's super soft and warm i like the seam details along the front and on the sleeves and it's just a nice kind of like baggy fit you can wear this with jeans or really anything and i feel like it's just a really good basic sweater to have for fall slash winter then i also got a pair of jeans from misguided i have been needing a pair of just like basic black jeans because i didn't really have any so i really love these and i'm just so impressed with the quality and the fit and everything as you guys know misguided's prices are super affordable so to find like such a good pair of jeans like this on their website is amazing i love the fit of these they're super high-waisted and they're kind of just like a straight fit they're not too too baggy but they're also not like a skinny jean they're also just like super comfortable so i love these i know i'm gonna get so much use out of these next up i feel like these little cropped cardigans are just so good and easy to have to throw on in the fall so i actually got this one in two colors the first is this really cute like chocolatey brown color and then i also just got it in white so two really good just like basic colors for fall you can really style these with just about anything like jeans a skirt you can throw it on over like a dress and leave it unbuttoned just love a little cropped cardigan moment for fall next up i got this really fun pair of pants they are like a faux leather pant in this lilac purple color i don't own anything like this i love leather pants but i feel like i always just wear black leather pants so this color is much more fun and they're just like a stretchy waistband so they're actually so comfortable i feel like these would just be so fun to throw on with like a basic black or white like long sleeve bodysuit and then just throw on a pair of heels and just like a statement going out pant i really really like these next we have a dress i absolutely love this it is just a tie-dye like ribbed long sleeve bodycon dress i think it's so cute on very flattering and i like that it's not too short a lot of like tight dresses tend to just fit me really short so i really like this one i think this would be such a cute outfit for just a night out in the city and if it gets chillier at night i think this would look super cute with like an oversized black leather jacket speaking of leather jackets i got this one from misguided i can never have too many black leather jackets i feel like it's just the most useful piece in my closet for fall they are so easy to style they go with everything and i just feel like a leather jacket makes any outfit look so much cooler so i picked out this one for misguided i love like the boxy oversized fit and it's a little bit cropped too the back just looks like that and it also comes with a piece that you can like belt it with so you can choose to wear that with or without the belted thing i feel like it just looks so cute thrown over this little dress it keeps you warm and it just makes your outfit look so cool i got a couple of just like basic body suits so the first one is this like taupe brown colored high neck bodysuit and it just has these little cutouts on the sides i really love this like seamless material that this bodysuit and the other one that i have to show you come in it's just like super smooth and i feel like they look and feel really nice quality this is just a really cute bodysuit to throw on with jeans then the other bodysuit that i got is in this like bluish color and again it's that like seamless smooth material 
This one's just super basic in the front. The straps in the back, it's hard to see, but they just like crisscross. Again, really cute basic bodysuit. Next, I got this really basic black tank. I know this isn't really like fall appropriate, but I just thought it was cute. And it's super flattering on. It's just really basic. It has a little tie right here. But I just thought it was cute with these pants, which are super fun and different for me. But they're just these like ribbed, stretchy pants. And they kind of flare out at the bottom. And they're kind of giving me like Halloween vibes with the orange and black tie-dye. But these are so cute and comfortable. I actually like this whole outfit and I think it'd be really cute with a pair of like black chunky boots to wear. Lastly from Misguided, I just got two pairs of shoes. Their heel selection is like my favorite ever. I actually have so many pairs of heels from Misguided that are like my go-to going out shoes. So adding these to the collection. First, I got these little flip-flop style heels, which I actually wore out to get drinks with a couple friends the other night. Walks all around the city in them, and they're pretty comfortable, surprisingly. They just have like a thick, chunky heel in the back, and I've been seeing this style of heels all over, and I really wanted a pair. And then I also got these, which are a little bit different, but I think they're so pretty. They're just like a closed-toed heel, which I never really wear closed-toed heels but they have this like square heel in the back which i've been seeing a lot of on like pinterest and i just thought these would be really pretty to wear with like baggy jeans so super cute heels love those thank you again to misguided for sponsoring today's video like i said i'll have everything linked down below that i showed you today and you can use my discount code to save money on your misguided order and yeah that is all for this little haul just did a very simple makeup look i actually tested out a few new products that i recently got from sephora first two things are these two from rare beauty i have been hearing so many good things about this brand so i had to try a few products out so i used their liquid blush this is in the shade happy which is one of the dewy shades and this is so good a little goes a very very long way so it's kind of easy to like get carried away with this but I've been really into like a heavy blush look lately. So this is so, so pretty. And then I also used their liquid highlight. This is in the shade Mesmerized. It's kind of like a champagne, like gold-ish shade. This is also super pretty. It goes on very intense. Like it looks like it's going to be like a super blinding highlight. But once you blend it out, it's actually pretty like natural looking i would say this is what my cheeks look like with those two products on i didn't use any other blush or highlight so i kind of used a lot of the highlights it's definitely very buildable and i think it's so pretty for just like an everyday glow i also tested out the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish like pressed powder i got the shade medium and i just used this to set under my eyes and just like where i put concealer and you guys know I usually use the Laura Mercier loose powder, which I still absolutely love. But for just like an everyday look, I feel like it's a lot quicker to use a pressed powder. And I don't really need anything super heavy to set my face. So I really liked this. It's very like smoothing too. I feel like this really like airbrushes and like kind of smooths out your pores and everything. So that's today's makeup look. I really like all the products that i got i just made a grocery list on notes on my phone and i also made a whole meal plan for this whole week this is going to be a separate vlog but this coming week i'm doing a little challenge for myself where i don't spend any money for the whole week i'll talk more about that in that video and i'm going to vlog the whole week but basically i need to do a good job of planning out all my meals this week and making sure i buy everything i need at trader joe's today because i don't want to be tempted to eat out at all so i have a very long grocery list and also today i'm gonna try making maddie bragg's pumpkin cinnamon roll recipe that she posted on her youtube channel so i also am getting the ingredients that i need for that so we have lots to get at trader joe's today so i'm gonna head out okay guys i am back from trader joe's i got a lot of stuff today definitely spent way more money than i usually do for a week's worth of groceries but like i said i am not spending any money on takeout or anything this week so i'm fully stocked 
for all my meals this week. So let's do a quick little Trader Joe's haul. I got some milk. This is just for the cinnamon roll recipe that I'm making today. And then I got heavy whipping cream, vanilla yogurt, a big container of blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, mushrooms, red onion, zucchini, some tortillas, sourdough bread, a bell pepper, tomato, lots of avocados, lemon, lime, some apples, tis the season, garlic, bananas, I'm gonna do tacos for dinner one night, so I got this taco seasoning. Provolone cheese, turkey salami, some creamy brie cheese, mac and cheese, more cheese, <laughs> gnocchi. These are like a fall seasonal thing. I thought they sounded good for just like a snack. Pumpkin cranberry crisps, so excited to try those with like a dip or cheese or something. Got some salmon to make this week, chicken and ground beef also for taco night. White cheddar popcorn, some more coconut aminos, which I use all the time as a sauce for my veggie chicken stir fry dinner. I just got some like snacky things so that I'm not tempted to eat out at all this week even when I'm feeling a little hungry. Two of these vanilla overnight oats. This pumpkin pie spice which is also for the cinnamon roll recipe. Same with the flour. And then I just got two more of these La Colombe pumpkin spice draft lattes. They are so good. That is everything. I'm gonna put this all away now. It is much later in the day now. I just got home from my parents' house. I had dinner with them and I was also over there to make the pumpkin cinnamon rolls because they just have a much bigger kitchen than I do and also I never really bake. So I don't have that many baking utensils. So I just utilized their kitchen and oh my god you guys the pumpkin cinnamon rolls turned out so so good. You guys have to try Maddie Bragg's recipe. I'll link her video down below, but they turned out so good. And they actually weren't that hard to make. I've never made cinnamon rolls from scratch before, but this was pretty easy. It definitely took like a while because you have to let the dough sit for a while, but they turned out so, so good. So you guys should definitely try those. But right now I just showered and I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare. Thought I would do a face mask since it's a Sunday. I usually like to have a very self-care kind of night on Sundays to get me ready for the week. Kitty always like starts messing with things as soon as I start filming and she makes so much noise in the background. But she's so cute though, aren't you so cute? Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually got a package in the mail yesterday from Peter Thomas Roth, which you guys know I'm a fan of their Potency Serum. I've talked about this a couple times, so I'm super excited to try out some more of their products. They sent me two products from their Water Drench collection. So this is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. It's 75% hyaluronic acid, which is a like hydrating ingredient. And then this is their water drench hyaluronic cloud cream. So it's like a moisturizer. They're just you're getting. Please do not do that. Okay. I'm not gonna try these out tonight, but I'm really excited to have these because they're both like really hydrating products. And as we get into the colder months, my skin gets really, really dry. I actually feel like my lips are so chapped right now because it got cold so fast. Like it literally went from being 90 degrees every day to today the high was like 60. So <laughs> my skin is gonna probably get really dry soon. But tonight I thought I would use this. This is their pumpkin enzyme mask. Pumpkin, very fall oriented. 
Um, so it's like a resurfacing exfoliating mask. It says three in one intensive skin resurfacer mask exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme peels with alpha hydroxy acid and polishes with aluminum oxide i know this is like one of their most popular products and i haven't done an exfoliating treatment on my skin in a while so i wanted to try this out oh my god this smells so good. Okay, so it says to apply a thin layer to clean skin, blah, blah, blah. Leave on for three to seven minutes. Gonna leave that on for a few minutes and let it do its thing. I just washed off the mask. It's definitely like an intense exfoliating mask. So if you have like more sensitive skin, it might be too harsh, but I like a good intense exfoliating product. So I actually really liked it. My skin feels very, very soft. So I'm gonna do moisturizer and everything and my skin will be looking cute. I just lathered my lips in Laneige lip mask so they won't be chapped on my computer right now. I'm just kind of planning out my week and what I have to get done this week. But I thought I would end off this video here because I'm going to start another vlog tomorrow and do a week in my life and vlog my no spend week so that should be interesting but i have lots of fun videos coming up also i am doing something next weekend that's very exciting i want it to be a surprise so i'm not gonna give it away but i'm trying to think of like a hint i can give you that doesn't give it away basically i am getting something very exciting i don't know what else to say without giving it away but leave your guesses in the comments down below what you think it is and also follow me on instagram because you will find out there before you find out on here so if you want to be the first to know what i'm talking about follow me on instagram but it's very very exciting i can't wait to share with you guys what it is long story short make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in another new video bye